Passion of Christ. That's the state. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Bible says, Blessed are they that mourn, mourn for they shall be comforted. Let us pray. Father God, in whom there is life, in whom there is hope, in whom there is comfort, we thank you this morning, God, for the life of our dear brother, Kwamina Azel, this morning. We thank you, Lord God, that is, Lord, as we gather together at this place, God, to lay his body to rest, but we know that angels are rejoicing in heaven. I pray today, God, that you'll come to this family. God, as we do this service, I pray for a special blessing, Lord God, for those who have gathered. Lord, and those who cannot, Lord God, be with us in body. Lord God, in person today. They can, Lord God, be a part of this service, Lord God, but whether by the internet. I pray this morning that they will receive their portion of blessing. That they will receive comfort, joy, and love. Remember, Lord God, his wife today. Give her, Lord, strength, Lord, we pray. Bless the family. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. we'll all say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us Jesus, as we forgive those who trust us against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. We will meet in the second thing, but you will please cooperate with me. We're going to be having two scriptures together and uh, God will bless us today please remember words are highly nourished from which we express my profoundest gratitude to God for this family Mother of Christ is my godfather God's mother cannot be here today and uh, we have to pray for her and these my own siblings here God, sister, God, brother, we're all in this together. Please pray for us. My own father went when I was, biological father went when I was 14 and a half. So I understand. And as I said earlier on, if the word celebration, it might sound a little bit preposterous, but that is going against nature. How could we need to cry, yet we are celebrating? And in which respect, brothers, sisters, sons, daughters, this noble man, great man, humble man, kind man, needs a good celebration. When this is all over today, we are planning by the grace of God, a big celebration. The whole of Denver is going to turn up because he deserves it. So we're saying today, family, cheer up, celebrate. He has left a foundation worth living for, holding on to. God bless you. Now, I cannot be and I'm not a good <coughs> vigilator, but work with me as soon as one's finished getting the queue because our time is limited. So follow this book. Now the scriptures don't over the the scriptures when you kindly come and in the distance but God bless. The first reading is taken from Isaiah chapter 57 verses 1 to 2. The righteous perishes and no man laid it to heart. And merciful men are taken away. None considering that the righteous is taken away from the evil to come. He shall enter into peace. They shall rest in their beds. 
each one walking in his uprightness. Thanks be to God, this is the word of the Lord. Scripture reading, John chapter 14, verses 1 to 3. Let not your hearts be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again. And you receive and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. Gospel of God. I was going to uh, say a poem today, but I thought I'd say my own words. <laughs> Dad, you were a king, the best of all of us, and truly a good friend and a man I respected. He showed me compassion and empathy, but also leadership and stoicism, the need to challenge ideas, but also to have self-respect and honour. You were a wonderful father and a great man. He always showed kindness and respect to anyone and everyone, mm. even if they were undeserving. Mm. Your smile was infectious, as well as your laugh, and you always had a story to tell of years gone by. You educated me on so much politics, history, and life, mm. even when sometimes I didn't want to hear. The wisdom and knowledge you gave me has shaped me in so many ways and has made me who I am. Dad, there are no words to describe the pain that we're feeling right now. Knowing I'm never going to hear you laugh again, see your smile, hear your stories, or taste your wonderful cooking, Jonathan Stew being my favourite. You leave behind a legacy that I'm determined to carry on. Your grandchildren, Olivia, Michael and Reggie, loved you very much. Mm -hmm. I promise I will tell them about you every day sure that your wonderful qualities are instilled in them. Dad, your body may be still, but your spirit is free. Mm -hmm. Free to be reunited with the loved ones you've lost mm -hmm. and closer to God. Dad, this is not the end, but only the beginning. Mm -hmm. Rest easy, and one day we'll meet again. I love you, Dad. Beloved to my brother, we are here today to not only convey our condolences over the loss of my beloved brother, Daniel Brown, Jesus, but also to celebrate his life. He was a person who is irreplaceable. He oozed satisfaction, which was transferred to everyone around him. Daniel was a gentle soul who lives behind wonderful memories of an affectionate husband. Father, brother, uncle, and cousin, where can only convey a mere sigla of the intensity of my emotions? Pamela was born in Cape Cruz on 14th March 1942 to the St. John Hazel and Madame Margaret Edu. He enjoyed being part of a large, extensive family. During his formative years in Cape Cruz and Kumasi, Pamela relished the strong spiritual ties that he cultivated with family and the subsequent support structure. He immersed himself in fancy culture and tradition. He valued the morals instilled in him as a child. After leaving school, Pamela secured the position of court clerk at the Supreme Court of Ghana in Accra. Little did he know that by working here, he will change the course of his life. I'm not for friendship with his colleagues and who had aspirations of initial achieving wealth and success in the UK. He was able to apply passports for them. Initially, when asked by his friends if he would also want to travel abroad, he surprised them by expressing his desire in remaining in Ghana. 
Hi, I'm Akerson and Tori Friend. One night, and his great friends boarded a ship as they embarked on the adventure of a lifetime in February 1964. Ramna used to regale family with anecdotes about this chapter, about this chapter in his life. His first European destination was Tenerife. He would describe the scorching sun, breathtaking scenery, and strong sea views of this part of Spain in detail. Ramna traveled through Europe, eventually reaching Hamburg in West Germany. He and his friends remained here for six months, residing at a YMC hostel and working in a factory. Later, who still remember the vocabulary he had learned. Eventually, Ramna and his friends had saved sufficient funds to travel to the UK, arriving in London in February 1965. My brother was an industrious man who proudly used to say, there's dignity in labor. He achieved his personal best because of his exemplary work ethic, pursuing a career in environmental health for most of his adult life. In 1969, Ramna met the love of his life, Valeria at a dance. This encounter led to an enduring love, sorry, of more than half a century. Ramna and Valeria started their union by marrying in the Royal Church of St. Martin in the Fields in Trafalgar Square in 1976. No marriage is perfect, but they really were perfect for each other as they complemented each other, others' personality. They gave life to two gorgeous children, Evelyn and Charles. Hamla was a devoted father who endeavored to impart to them the values that were inculcated in him by his elders as a child. He and Valeria dreamt big. They wanted their children to grow up wise, respectful, and successful. Ramna had a kind spirit. He was the sort of person that one cannot get enough of. He, his generosity knew no bounds. When I was a teenager, I received a gift of a watch from him. But this was not an ordinary watch, but an innovative Tamex one. I cherished my watch as it was special and unique as well as fashionable. It was big and flashy and so impossible for anyone to ignore. I developed a slight obsession with my watch. I looked at it frequently so much so that my friends dubbed me timeless. To one and only Pamela Pra is irreplaceable. If I could live all over again, I will, I would still want him as my brother. I'm proud that he was my brother. He was my role model, mentor and friend. Pamela was a caring individual who treated loved ones like royalty. Even in the midst of his illness, his smile would light up any room. Everyone should strive to follow in his footsteps. I will always love him to infinity. In the meantime, Christ will come to terms with Ramnes and timely death. Remember, this is not the final goodbye. Pamela, we will meet again. Your soul will live for eternity in heaven. In the meantime, do guide us as we continue to live our lives on earth. Watch over your loved ones and protect them from death, from harm. We will always remember you. You live on in our hearts. We love you. Be at peace. Words of consolation, words of hope, challenging thoughts. Life of great men, all reminds us we can live our lives of life and party leave behind us footprints on the sands of time. Uh, you will notice on the program here that. We're going to have our lovely pastor, reverend,
contacting every person. It was going to be the time when I say I would be given the word, but such a time we're trying to utilize the time the best way we can. I know it's a good woman, a great friend of the family, daughter, a sister, and, uh, and believe me, today we're going to be challenged with the thoughts that come from her. So she'll be speaking for all of us. Is that all right? God bless you. Amen. Thank you very much, Pastor Paul. Pastor <laughs> well, I'm going to give God thanks and praise for today. And first of all, I'd like to just read to you the symbols I'm reading on um, behalf of Honda. You know, the eulogy is the biggest tribute of all, as it details accomplishments and some personal memories to which others might relate. Kwamina was a wonderful and principled man who had a quiet dignity about him. He was always such a gentleman, well-mannered and polite. Furthermore, he was a caring, compassionate and empathetic person. Kwamina was a special husband, father, grandfather, brother, cousin, friend and associate. Quoting Robert Bachman, a lawyer, he said the father is the noblest title a man can be given. It is more than a biological role. It signifies a patriarch, a leader, a confidant, a teacher, a hero, and a friend. You heard from his son, mm -hmm. talking about his dad, but his dad was a hero. What a father. You know, yesterday I asked Valeria, you know, what she would like me to say on her behalf. It's a sad situation that she couldn't be here, you know. She's taken it you know, very badly, you know, it's like put her down and so on and so forth. You know, her response was, life without Kwamina is nothing. I am dependent on him. He will do anything for me. I don't know what to do now. Mm -hmm. You know, I assure her that the Lord Jesus will never leave her. Mm -hmm. He will not forsake her. And that he will ensure that she will be well looked after. Mm -hmm. Kwamina loved his wife with every bone in his body. I suppose that's the best way I can put it. It is not going to be easy for her, easy for children as well. But I can assure you that the Lord will uphold you. He will uphold his dear man, his children, and loved ones. Vanilla cannot really express how much she will miss him. She's at lost, at loss for words. Kwamina was loyal and faithful to the people in his life. He was very humorous. He enjoyed lots of ethnic jokes. Yet his humor was never mean spirited, nor designed to hurt or humiliate anyone. He had the ability to make everyone feel comfortable, secure, and loved. To the children, their father was indeed a hero. Kwamina fulfilled every obligation he ever undertook. His word was his bond. I pray that we all strive to have such good relationships with our fathers, with our parents. It's a beautiful thing, you know, like there's a scripture that says that your children will rise and call you blessed. Mm -hmm. I pray that over every one of us, that we will be such good and loving and caring parents, not hard or brutal, that they would appreciate us and never forget. And they will be demonized and call us blessed. Now, um, he was proud of being a family man and a devoted husband. He talked about his Christian faith and his family heritage. 
which he was also proud of. He actually descended from African royalty. I've had comments like, that cooking was legendary. Mm. I mean, it's there really and cuisine very well. I will definitely attest to that, as I have been a partaker of that on many occasions. His kindness and generosity will be remembered by all who had the pleasure of knowing him. Amen. Farewell from you. You are now in a better place. You know, just to give you a few words, just a few thoughts, we never know what will happen, what, to, what will befall us in the future. We never know. But there is a God who holds tomorrow. Amen. Listen, nothing you will achieve on this earth can be compared to eternal life in heaven. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely nothing. You know, let's take our lessons from the, the wisest and richest man that ever lived, King Solomon. Nobody could surpass the wisdom he had. He had so much wealth. You know what he said in the book of Ecclesiastes? The last chapter he said, the whole chapter he was telling us about everything in this world is meaningless. Mm -hmm. You came naked, you will go back. He said, well, you can't carry anything with you when you die. Mm -hmm. He says it is better to go into the house of mourning than in the house of celebration. Mm -hmm. Because if you are in the house of mourning, you will think, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's the time when you can be sober and think about it. That could be me. What would they say about me when I live here? Have I set a good example? Have I been kind and conscious and good to others, helpful to others? Or have I lived a selfish life? Mm -hmm. He said all these things yeah. are meaningless. Mm -hmm. He said, let me tell you the conclusion of the matter. Yeah. Is to serve God mm -hmm. and obey his commandments. Mm -hmm. That's the conclusion of the matter. So I want to give that to you. That no matter what you do, no matter what you're trying to acquire in this life, think God holds more. You might be in this place today, just like Joseph was in the prison one night, the next day he was in the palace. God can turn your situation around. Do not look down on anybody. You never know what that person will become the next day. I think that God will bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Not only a creature, a lawyer, and a guide, a good friend. Would you please buy a hands with you today? Uh,
today we know the words but we cannot express them hallelujah amen I just pray that people will be pleased to see how you have led these brothers and sisters to this time and the rest of the time. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I'm going to ask now that we close with this hymn. I am not extended in ground, but we just have a minute to go. So will you please stand with me? Support us through this troublous night until the shadows lengthen and the evening comes. This busy world, O oh God, is hushed. Fever of life is over and our work is done. And our work is done. Then, Lord, in your mercy, hallelujah, grant us a safe logic, a holy rest, and peace at last. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. Amen. Now we do. Right. Them two came from the church of it. There. Thank you, sir.
Um, we all know the family you're going to be going down so thank you for your patience and love and support kind thoughts for the family Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 For their deeds, follow them. Let us pray. Just a pray. And uh, to do that, the, the Lord is just holding back the cloud for us. Yes, so. Almighty God, we thank you, Lord God, for this day that we can lay to rest the body of our dear departed brother. But we know that his spirit is with the Lord. I pray this afternoon, Lord God, as we stand around this 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 grave today god that the blessing lord god that you've made in his life god will follow his children and his grandchildren let it be continue to be a blessing lord god father we thank you for his life remember his wife at this time strengthen her right now we pray bless them with the, the reign of the family in jesus mighty name amen, amen. and the pastor did say the remain not the reign of the family <laughs> As he said, the rain, so God bless you. I believe they will be doing the filling themselves. So we don't want to keep you back in the rain now. But if this be the case, they will do that. And then we will put the flowers. Yes, it was said, Behold and see you passing by. As you are now, so once was I. As I am now, so you will be. Take up your cross and follow Christ. I, I know that most times we don't, ministers, we don't always get it right because when it comes to family, you're very careful to remember all every single one is highly respected you have to forgive people like me who kind of deadly for names but in my prayers i include all the family grandchildren children siblings in-laws everyone is somebody and we are all families together so please forgive me, but remember, at the end of the day, all we are doing today is committing the body of a father, a husband, a grandfather, a friend, a brother, and whoever he is to you, it's just the body we are committing. You will be amazed to know that his spirit is still very much alive even more so alive now than ever 
was 27, about 27 years after the demise of my father, that I saw him and he came with a message that not one of his grandchildren were called by his name. And just a week or so after, the wife told me she was expecting that is 11 years after the last child, 11 years after. And we knew then what God was saying. And we called him after his grandfather, Francis. He's still around. We knew he was going to be a boy. No test, but his name was on the plaque of the church because of what the grandfather said. So don't you ever believe that we have buried this man. It's just his body. But man is spirit, my friends. Man is soul. And uh, man is spirit, man is soul. But he lives in a body. So the body is going back here. God breathed into man the breath of life. And man became a living soul. Remember years ago when I used to see that young man over there folding his hand? He used to have loads of hair on. And look, the hair is gone. But he's still, a, he's even more handsome now than then. <laughs> but that's what it is. The body, the body will perish. But the outer man, the Bible said, the outer man perish. But the inward man is renewed daily. So thank you to the lovely undertakers, the caretakers up here, the director. My young lady looking better every time I see her. And all of you as a saint. But keep safe, keep blessed. Remember. It's not for one. This is for all. Death is fear. It comes to us all. But then we are going somewhere. It's where we are going. As I said today, we must not say amen to the preacher and believe that we can trade somebody's spirit into heaven. We must make it right with God while we can. While we are yet alive, it's when we need him. If we can't pray, if this my godfather didn't pray then and get baptized then I couldn't commit his body to the ground and say amen my brother because he is my brother though my godfather because he has made it right with God so please make it right with God and with your fellow men live the life that God said we should live love the Lord your God with all your heart with all your soul with all your mind and with all your strength and love your neighbor as you love yourself. God bless you, family. Keep together, and God be with us. And Godmother, right where you are here today, I know that your thoughts are with us. But we love you, ma'am. And uh, don't give up. Don't give up. Your best, ma'am, is yet to come. Our prayers are with you and with all the families today in Jesus' name. And so, Father, give thanks for every blessing today that we will leave here this cemetery today stronger than when we came grant us fortitude let us live to please you that when our friends say goodbye when they can do no more when the undertaker is finished with us god the overtaker will take over and so my god even for the undertakers we pray that you bless them to bless us all that the love of god will be with us as we travel through this life in jesus name amen, amen. hallelujah Oh God, support us through this troublous life until the, e the shadows lengthen and the evening comes. This busy world, oh God, is hushed. The fever of life is over and our work, Lord, is done. Then, Lord, hallelujah, in your mercy, grant us a safe lodging, a holy rest and peace at last. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now unto him who is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless for the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God our Savior be glory and majesty, dominion and power both now and ever. Amen. God bless you beloved and god bless you till we meet again god be with you till we meet again amen let me tell you what i'm gonna do